Right, this is the best way I've found to remove a carpet gripper from floorboards. Once the carpet and the underlay has been taken up. I'm basically using the tools that I have available to me. So I've got a hammer, um, chisel. chisel, well done missus. I've got another chisel just in case. And I've got a old screwdriver. So, I mean, it all depends on how much you want to preserve your wooden floor, which obviously probably everybody does. Um, but let's have a go. Right, so I found the best thing to do is to stick the chisel underneath, whack it with a hammer. And then just try and ply it up. And as you lift, if you're lucky, the nail will automatically come out. So gradually work along. Every now and then it will come out. And you just start again with the next bit. Try obviously not to try and do it as horizontal as possible so that you're not actually digging into the wood of the floorboard. As you can see from our floorboards, they're quite old anyway, so they're about to be varnished and polished. Right, as you can see, I've managed to remove it. Taking a little couple of little chunks out, so maybe not perfect. And then some of the little nails are in. So you can just remove them with uh, the hammer. Job done.
is obviously old wood, so I'm not so bothered about slight marks, and this is gonna be sanded down. Top layer's gone anyway. Last bit on this side. Job done. Final job. After sanding. Brilliant.